Hey everybody and welcome back to my English Space. In today's short video, I'm going to teach you how to make nouns from verbs using the suffix meant. Meant. Yes, exactly. It's pronounced just as you hear it, just like that breath mint. M-I-N-T in the spelling. Well, let's see. We've got this easy words for first step and some more advanced words for the second step. So let's get us right in. Well, it's so easy and I'm sure you've heard of this nouns before. So let's start with the easy ones. Yeah, let's take the verbs, then add the suffix mint, mint, yeah, and make this nouns. And also work on their pronunciation, which is really important in English, yeah? So let's go. Enjoy, enjoy, say it with me. Enjoyment, enjoyment, very good. What is enjoyment? You know, that feeling of pleasure that you get out of activities that you do, out of things that you do. For example, I'm having loads of enjoyment out of concerts, out of going to concerts. I'm having a lot of fun, yeah? This is what it means. Or agree plus meant, agreement, agreement. Very good. What's an agreement? It is something that, you know, two people or two parties agree on or agree upon. We just made an agreement that we would never argue again. The next one, arrange plus meant. Arrangement, arrangement. Very good. Let's say this one again. Arrangement, arrangement. <laughs> Great, you're doing awesome. An arrangement is like a plan, yeah? Something that you make in order to plan something in advance. Like a party, you are making some arrangements, yeah? Before that party, before you want to have everything under control. Good, let's take the next one. Hmm, what is it that you are going to need for that party? Some refreshment, some refreshments, yeah? So let's take the verb, refresh, refresh, and mint. Refreshment, refreshment, you nailed it. So the refreshments are the cold and the cooling drinks that you drink at the party and maybe sometimes on the hot days they're the things that everybody's looking for. The next one maybe entertainment. Entertainment. Yes, very good. We have to break this one down. So entertain. This is the verb entertain. Yeah, mind the stress that I'm putting on on the second syllable, enter, enter, entertain, and now mint, entertainment, entertainment. Good, well done. You also pull this one off. Entertainment is the fun, yeah, that you are having, you know, from, from others. So it, it's other providers that give you entertainment, yeah. If you go to the seaside, there's plenty of entertainment there. Like, you know, having a ride on the sea mattresses or going to the discos, going clubbing and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of entertainment when you go to the seaside. Especially seaside resorts offer a lot of entertainment. A lot of entertainment. Yeah, you can also drop the T and say enter, entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Yes, very good. You're doing great. Now let's take one more argument. Argument. This one is really easy and you've known it before. Argue, yeah, from the verb to argue, to have a fight with someone, to have a row with someone. And adding meant you obtain argument, argument which means some kind of discussion or fight over something. So what you don't want to have at a party is some kind of arguments, yeah? So no arguments at a party. Equipment, equipment, yeah? If you equip something, equip, equip, this is the verb, plus meant, 
equipment, equipment, equipment. Yeah, the equipment is really important at a party because without some good sound equipment, you aren't going to have any fun <laughs> because there will be no music whatsoever. So I think I'm done with this set. No, 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 don't go yet because I've got one more that I think is the last one and is something that would really, you know, make you more aware of your English language journey and it's commit plus mint. This one, please do it yourself. It's, yes, you nailed it. It's commitment, commitment. <laughs> Very good. And this is something that you will need to have yourself all the way through. So make sure that you make a commitment, a commitment to learning English and you'd better stick to that if you want to make it big in English. Yeah. If you want to get the best results in English, make this commitment and you'll do great. If you think this video has come in handy to you, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you again here on my English space next time as well. Bye for now.